Welcome to the homework for lesson 26. This is module 2 of grade 1. Get your name on here first. Please. And what we're doing for each of these, we have a picture. We're going to circle 10 in the picture and then write the number, right? And we're just figuring out what teen numbers it makes. So here we have 10. This is our 10 group here. And this is how many pennies? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 10, 8, it's 18. 18 is the same as one group of 10, 1, 10, and 8 ones. And number 2, we have a purse full of change. We're just going to call this 10. And then we have how many more pennies? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 and 7, 10, 7, 17. Is the same as how many ones are there? There's seven ones, and there's one group of 10. Be careful to read these words, because they're not always where you expect them to be. Now we're using hide zero cards, hide zero pictures, to draw the ten and ones shown on the cards. So here's a group of ten. Eighteen. So a ten should look like this. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just like it does in the picture. We've been used to drawing ten group, you know, five group rows, five groups in rows, but now we're drawing it in a column going up and down. So that's ten, and then this eight is eight ones. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. And we're not going to draw the line because we only draw a line through all of them when we have exactly 10. So we have a whole 10, that's one 10, but only, and then we have eight more ones. And now this is 10 and 3, right? So 10, 3 is 13. And we're going to draw our 10 group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's our ten. One whole ten. And then three ones. One, two, three. Three ones. <laughs> Lesson 20. we got more homework here. And this is all of this is just getting us ready to think about place value. Tens and ones and groups of ten making teen numbers just like we practice the say 10 way in school. We're going to show the tens and ones using five group columns now instead of five group rows. So we have a 10 here. What do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's, there's a group of 10. <coughs> So 1, 10, and we see we have two ones left over, and now we have to draw it on the column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then two more. And here we have a 10, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so here's our... 10 group, and it doesn't say you have to circle 10, but I'm doing it just to make sure I don't count the same ones twice. So we've got a 10 and three ones. You can see I have a 10 group and three ones. And here's our five group column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we need 
three ones. So there's a 10, a 10 group, and three ones. 10 group and two ones. And now we're drawing our own examples using five group columns to show tens and ones. So here's 16. 16 is going to be the same as 1, 10, and 6 ones. Right, because it's 10, 6, so it's at 1, 10, and a 6, or 6 ones. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we need, that's our 10, and now we need 6 ones. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And here's 19, so I'm going to need my column here. 19 is going to be the same as we get our 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I need one more to make this a whole 10, so I can't draw a line through it and make it a group of 10. But I do, I can look at it and see how many ones do I have. These are the ones right here. These are the ones. There's nine of them. And how many tens do I have? Right. You can just look at it and say I just only have one stick of ten. 